queuing for cash. As Cyprus's second largest bank faces closure, account holders know that time and money are fast running out. I'm so sad I can't say anything. Would you explain how you feel with all that's going on? I never believed it would come to this. I never believed it. What, what do you believe is going on? What's going to happen to your money? It's going to disappear. The banks themselves remain shut. ATMs offer limited daily withdrawals. The manager here explains that there's just enough cash to last till Tuesday. Laiki is in line to be restructured. In the jargon of the central bank, the even bigger Bank of Cyprus may be too. In Cyprus now, people are fast learning what the jargon means. Besides the current accounts that we've got in there, I've got deposit accounts. So if they don't open up, our deposit accounts above 100,000, we're going to lose. And even below 100,000, which is guaranteed, we won't be able to take that money out because they're going to go bankrupt. And the people that guarantee us the money is the government. And our government is bankrupt. The fate of the two big banks forms part of measures being debated here in Parliament as MPs decide whether to approve plans to raise and save money to satisfy European lenders and the IMF. The banks in general are supposed to open on Tuesday. But if Cyprus hasn't secured a bailout by then, they may not open at all. With every passing moment, the options are dwindling. The House of Representatives will soon be called upon to make the big decisions. Undoubtedly, there will also be painful aspects to any decision taken. But the country must be saved. Parliament is also discussing emergency controls to limit withdrawals and transactions to prevent a catastrophic bank run when, if, the banks eventually open their doors. And returning from Moscow empty-handed, the finance minister has discovered that Russia doesn't believe Cyprus is worth saving. Outside Parliament, meanwhile, demonstrators have gathered again. These are people who fear for their savings and their jobs. They are all too aware now that if the worst were to happen, all would be lost. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Nicosia, Cyprus.